So with having Cable One, we're able to do kind of multitask with all the different things that we have to do. We run all our transactions through our, our merchant services. That Cable One provides that opportunity to do that. We run our front computers, which that handles all of our, you know, our social media, from the music we play, um, all that has to run without the internet and, and Cable One services wouldn't happen. Um, and then of course our phone service, you know, and that was the last thing that we got involved with. Uh, we didn't start, we, most people start with Cable One as a phone thing, that was the last thing and, it, and they just saved the day and we had a kind of a difficult, um, difficult start up with somebody else and Cable One came in and saved it for us. So we had Cable One for internet right from the beginning. I have them at my house as well. So you know, it was just like going with somebody that you knew. And so and we've always had good service. We've always had, everything's worked well. When there is a, a glitch in the system, they've responded to it in a way that we would hope that when we, if we had a problem that we would respond to it. They treated us like we were you know, part of the team. We're working together. So when we initially, um, we had phone service through a small telecom company and they kind of sold us on the services that their phone could do for us. And what we found out rather quickly is not only did we not need everything that they were trying to sell us on, but they weren't, they weren't part of the team. It was like we were, um, we were there to service them, not the other way around. Mm -hmm. Cable One didn't make us feel that way. They made sure that we were the customer and that if I had a need, they were going to be there to fill it for me. They listened and they were reactive when I needed them to be and they fixed the problem as quickly as efficiently as I could have hoped for when we needed to get this change over. Right at the beginning of our business we had all our marketing stuff printed, we had a number that we had already established and now we had to get that number ported over and Cable One made that happen for us and we didn't know if we could. We thought it was going to cost us a lot more money than it did. Um, well the look of it or the color scheme and all that came from the recycling colors that are out there, the blue-green. Um, we were able to get some old recycling bins that we needed. It was part of the thing we needed. We got the City of Meridian actually to donate those to us, uh, which they typically just do for schools. And so they liked our recycling format of what we were doing as a business, so they were willing to participate by donating those bins to us. So we kind of played off of that. We wanted to have that sort of feel and look that, you know, the whole store is all about recycling. From that, we used a lot of materials that are reused or re repurposed materials within to make the entire store as well. I guess cash flow is, is a, a thing that you, you, it's hard to anticipate. Mm -hmm. The amount of money that you're going to need on a weekly and monthly basis just for operation uh, is a little bit what I couldn't comprehend. You think you have enough money to do what you need to do and then you find out all the costs that go along with uh, running a business and so sometimes you're waiting for money to come in, you don't quite have it yet, and then, uh, but you've, you've got to pay it. So yeah, I guess managing cash flow is probably the biggest thing that uh, I, I think I needed, I wish I had more knowledge of prior to starting it. So for trends, a lot of it I rely on my, my staff. Uh, I have really excellent people that work here that are young and youthful and they, they love to dress fashionably. They seem to know what's going on, so we kind of take a lot of trends from them. They do a lot of the purchasing of the inventory that we carry. That keeps us up to date on that side with their knowledge of what we, we have. Mm -hmm. On my own side, I actually like to go out um, at least once a month and hit a lot of the bigger, bigger chains and bigger stores that are in the mall and see what's, what's going on there, what they're selling. Um, if prices are changing, we need to keep up to date with what the costs are because we price ours based on the retail cost of that. So we want to be at a certain price point to try to make it uh, advantageous for the customers that come in to experience our store. Well, we have a website, um, so that gets updated uh, when it's needed. And we also link all of our social media sites through that website. So that's a big part of what we do. Um, and then we actually have a service called Textum. Um, that we communicate with our customers. When they come in to sell clothes, they drop them off and then we've got to let them know at some point that their clothes are ready. So rather than just having to check back periodically or having us them call us, we will be able to send them a text message via an email. So we, e we type it into our computer, it flips it into a text, it goes to them, and then our girls here that work here don't have to use their own personal cell phones. It kind of protects them and it, it's a really useful service for our customers with something we, that we know that we're the only ones doing that are a similar business like this in the area. And again, without the internet connection that we have and the Cable One services, we couldn't do that. So it's just adding that little extra bit of customer service that makes it easier for our customers, that's critical for us. We want to be thought of as the business that you know, treats you the way you want to be treated, to does little bit things to make things better. And again, Cable One, it just makes all of that happen for us. We couldn't do it without them.
So with Facebook, um, we use a lot of different ways. Thankfully, we're able to have people like us on Facebook, and from those likes, we're able to interact with us. They're able to ask us questions. We're able to respond directly to somebody at the time, at the time that they're asking through the use of our, um, our, our technology that we have here through Cable One and also through our cell phones. Um, we also like to post pictures and video of different things that we do within the store, so we kind of kind of share a little bit of how it feels to people before they get here to see if they might like how, how what we do and the type of clothes that we have. Um, so that's probably the main ways I would imagine. Pinterest, we initially were just kind of trying to establish a look. So we would pin other people's pins of stuff that like type of clothing that we would buy. So when you saw our page, you'd say, oh, this is the type of stuff that, we ha that Epic takes, buys, and sells. But now we're starting to try to pick pictures of our own items so that we can say, well, this is available here at Epic. And uh, that's been really useful because now people will come in, take their cell phones, and show us, hey, is this still here? And when that happens, I mean, that's an instant sell. Somebody actually drove from their house, came to our store, and we've made a, per we've made a sell because of Pinterest. It's, it's great. The Idaho Youth Ranch is a really helpful um, organization that we utilize to take the clothes that we don't select. So when we go through clothes, um, sometimes they're just not in the condition that we'd like to, do, uh, to resell. And people don't want to go to the hassle of having to take them somewhere else. So we offer a service that the Idaho Youth Ranch helps us with. They will come and pick up our clothes from us once or twice a week if needed. And then they take them and they resell them for help to their organization for all the kids that they help. They've been doing it for over 70 years. They're right here in Idaho. So to help somebody local, to help somebody in the state of Idaho, and they just do great work on helping kids uh, Re rehabilitate with some issues that they're dealing with in their lives. This, we, we wanted to continue to have our business as a fully recyclable type of business, so to continue that format with the, even the clothes that we aren't purchasing just made sense. Mm -hmm. And then we wanted to find an organization that, again, was give, giving back to the community in Idaho, and especially to young people, and helping them uh, to better themselves. And, and they do a really great job with that. And we researched who they were and what they were, and they were so willing to help us that it was just a no-brainer for us to go ahead and, and coordinate with them. You know, when you're starting a business, you, you want to do it, you know, because you're trying to make a living for yourself, but also you're a part of a community. And when we wanted to be a part of a community, we wanted to be it more just in about making money for us. We wanted to give back to where we could, and being a, helping in the Idaho Youth Ranch just helps us to do that. They're the perfect kind of format for us. They sell clothes too. We have clothes that we can donate to them. It's, su it's such an easy thing for us to do, but you know, they, they seem to really appreciate it, and it's nice to be appreciated, and they, they just do a wonderful job of helping us with that. Well, I think you want to find somebody that kind of aligns with your thinking of how you operate, um, being that we're recyclable cycled clothing, they resell clothing in the same format, it was just a natural fit. And also, you know, you want to stay local, I think. I think it's hard to branch out, and, especially when you're a small business, to go outside of your own community. So having somebody local that can help you and we can help them work together, it makes it, it, makes it work for everybody. Um, number one, marketing is gonna take a lot more time, effort, and money than you can plan for. Um, so plan for it, and plan for it, and plan for it. Marketing is, is key and crucial. Um, two, um, setting up your partnerships is essential for a long term. So you need to have people that you establish relationships with at the beginning mm -hmm. that can be a partner with you going forward for the life of your business. Because you're gonna be kind of, they're gonna be a partner, they're gonna be somebody you're kind of married to. So if you don't like working with them or if, they don't, if they're not there to fill your needs or to, to provide a service that you really need and you don't like working with them, it's somebody you gotta, I think, be away from. It's really, really important. Um, and third, I guess, would be um, to listen to <laughs> everybody who's done it before you and take all the advice you can. Never think you know something um, I, I think you really need to go into every interaction trying to learn something rather than trying to give something because there's just so much that changes all the time. Business is uh, something you, you definitely learn and you're learning every day.